campus. All right, we want to take you to a live press conference in the South Shore neighborhood on that police involved shooting tonight. Let's listen to interim superintendent Fred Waller. On today's date at approximately 645 p.m. today in the 2400 block of East 72nd Street, officers were conducting third district tactical officers, I should say, were conducting a narcotic investigation. The subject of this investigation then fled and after a short foot chase, he turned and fired at the officers. The officers returned fire and struck him in the left flank. This, officer, this uh, subject continued to struggle and officers were finally able to bring him into custody and he was transported to the hospital and after surgery is in critical but stable condition. I also visited the officers at the hospital and they're in good condition. Uh, one had some shortness of breath, but he's doing fine now also. So that's all we have right now. Uh, and I'll take some questions. Can you, we heard a lot of um, frustration, concern from people here who felt like this might not have been justified. Um, was there any kind of communication with them? Because the scene did seem pretty hostile in the immediate moments afterwards. Right, and we find that many times when people don't have a clear understanding or clear view of what happened. We have a clear view of what happened. That subject did turn and fire at the officers who then returned fire on him. Did you recover his firearm? We recovered his weapon and, and the rounds that he fired, yes. And body camera, body worn video of this incident? Yes, yes. As far as these narcotics investigations go, particularly over here, were they in a marked or unmarked? I mean, did they identify themselves as officers before this all unfolded and the subject began running? Right. They, they were in an un, unmarked vehicle and in a, in a tactical uh, uh, clothing but it's clear that they're police and we did recover some uh, narcotics also, suspect narcotics. One last question. I know that there was that flipped patrol unit as well. Right. Can you give us more information about the officer in that car? That officer was from the second district. He was uh, coming to assist the officers who called a 10-1 because they had tr uh, trouble bringing the offender into custody. He struggled quite a bit. Uh, so his car did flip over. Uh, he's in fair condition. He's not seriously hurt, but he's sore. So he's doing well. Was he transported to the hospital? Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you so much. Guys. You have been listening to interim CPD Superintendent Fred Waller updating the media on a shooting, a police involved shooting just after six o'clock this evening. What we're told is that a subject who is the subject of a narcotics investigation was fleeing the scene, began firing at officers, according to interim Superintendent Waller. That is when CPD uh, staff began firing back at that suspect who was struck on the left side. He was transported to the hospital in critical but stable condition. A weapon was recovered. Body worn cameras were rolling. And of course, we'll have much more on this story throughout the night and on our news starting tomorrow morning.